I'm Kofi Bohaini. I'm originally from Ghana. I'm the first of seven children. And this is how my journey into medicine started. By Ghanaian standards, I came from a wealthy family. Uh, but we lost that wealth pretty quickly over a short period of time when there was a coup in Ghana. It was around that same time that I saw the faith in my parents. Um, they became really grounded in being missionaries and doing missionary work. I grew up in a country that healthcare was a privilege. I saw people and family members die of diseases that in, in this country is just a simple thing to take care of. An uncle went into for thyroid surgery, never woke up. I had a friend who had joined this for some different reason, was treated for malaria, died. And so healthcare was a really big deal. One of the things that motivated me to get into medicine is how I saw physicians come from abroad to Ghana to deliver care um, and the difference they made in people's lives. We were straight from Ghana and we meet students from around the world excited for our new opportunities. And then we get on a train for a day from Moscow to Krasnodar. We get accustomed to our surroundings for uh, just a day. Classes starts the next day and I get called out of a group of people. Um, I was just thinking, I, somebody needs to know where I am um, so, so I can get to, some sa to safety. I wasn't being mistreated, but I knew I wasn't where I was supposed to be. One thing I gathered from the experience of being taken from my classmates is just strength in persistence. And this followed me throughout my stay in Russia. You don't give up easily. For a foreign student, it was almost impossible to get into medical school. I finished my pre-medical requirements in two years. I gained admission to med school. I was excited about it. And then two days before we, uh, we start school, I'm told, you're a foreign student. We didn't know that this is a state school, you can come. And it was a big, big, big disappointment. I thought, you know, I, I got so close, but maybe it's, it wasn't meant to be. So that probably was the darkest moment. And then it was the question, how are you going to pay for this? I knocked on every door. It was more difficult than I thought. So one day I was just walking home from school and my chemistry professor was jogging by. He sees me and says hi and said, hey, what are you doing next year? I said, um, I don't know. He said, aren't you going to medical school? I said, yes, I got in, but I can't find the money. And he said, well, do you have the forms for a financial aid or a loan? I do, but I can't find somebody to co-sign for it. And he told me, run home, get the forms and meet me here. I ran as fast as I could and met him back at that junction. And he got the papers and that the rest is history. It's been 1990 to 1999, nine years that I had not seen my mother actually. And the first time I saw her was actually at my graduation from medical school. That was, a, I mean, very joyful moment for me, obviously. Not only was I graduating, I graduated at the top of my class. So definitely, obviously, she was very, very proud. And it was a moment that I could share with her and with my dad. So here I was in graduation. I, they called me out, graduating first. I got a big award. So I come out, I give them a big hug and I repeat those three words to them, Mekho, Mekho, Mekho cry. Meaning I did it, I did it, I did it. Now I find myself at the pinnacle of um, healthcare delivery, the top hospital in the country. I really have come full circle. I'm doing exactly what I want to do 